Last time on Sailing Zatara. After finishing up our time in Greece, together we made the decision to head to Piraeus, deciding along the way that we would go ahead and embark on our first overnight sail in the catamaran. I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water, surrounded by the blue They scream that only I'll be saved night passage a little nervous probably won't sleep at all tonight we got to go through a lot of islands and zigzagging around lots of wind shifts lots of cell changes and that's how the cookie crumbles we set off from Samos and decided the safest route would be to sail non-stop around the various islands keeping plenty of distance between us and land I always make sure to zoom in as far as possible on the iPad to make sure we're not missing a random obstacle or a shallow area. I'll occasionally have to adjust our course by one or two degrees, but other than that, the autopilot makes night shift pretty simple. Well, the day is almost over. It's uh, five o'clock. Sun is setting. Might be a few squalls tonight. This is our first overnight. Uh, Seas are calming down, winds are kind of calming down. Should be in my iguana by 8 or 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. I hope we don't have to turn on the motor. So, talk to y'all in a little bit. And it's me and Anna. I think she's falling asleep over there. You're supposed to be awake. Dad's really not gonna go far. He's gonna sleep there and yeah, I don't know how this is gonna work. But I'm gonna be right here hoping not to run in any boats or get us off course. It's kinda scary. Kinda nervous, I have to admit. It's a lot of wind. Yeah. We had no sails out. We're 
We're heading into Pittwater, Australia. We've got uh, 30 knots of wind at our, on our stern. We're going bare poles because we want to get into Pittwater at 5 or 6 in the morning. We're going to get pinched between a, a cold front coming up and this this uh, northern warm front. And we want to get in there. There's a, there's a lull about four hours. Then we want to get in there and uh, right in between that. So we're having to do perfect timing, but we're selling bare poles. Uh, yeah. You notice? Well, I got a little bit of sail up there. <laughs> Just on bare poles in the current, we're making. You well, know, it's a little slower now, but the wind's dying down five knots. We've got uh, 27 knots of wind. It's been gusting to 35. There's 64 miles left, and our passage making this over for this season and in this boat. Been a good run. I can't wait for February, January to get the new catamaran and we're off again and this time we won't be stopping. Them, but it didn't. What time is it anyway? Well, Are they going to come back? Yeah, or they gonna... trying to stay in front of you so I don't run over the same net. Oh, that's way over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't think I'm dry. I think it's around my prop. There's nothing. You don't want right your tank yet? You're just going to free dive down there real quick? Yeah. All right, sweet. Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Hallelujah. As soon as I go sit on the toilet, Big gust of wind comes through. So we gotta pull down this spinnaker ASAP. It's night watch. It's late. I'm very sleep deprived. I've hallucinated like Gollum. And I don't know if the birds that I'm hearing are real or not. Everyone else is asleep. It's about to be Jack's turn. This red light is really bright. It is currently 6 o'clock. And I am basically off shift. Nothing has happened yet. Sales fog every once in a while. I'm just laying here. I'm wearing a jacket. And I'm under a blanket. Just getting very cold at night. And that's my my log, Z log. And yeah, see ya. See you later. See you in the next one. Goodbye. 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 This is our first night watch, and we are headed to Piraeus. We should be there about um, eight or nine in the morning. Things have kind of calmed down now. It was a little crazy before. We had some heavy winds, not really heavy, but like 25 knots. And then a line broke and I don't know, Jack and Anna and Keith were all out here handling everything. Uh, right now we have about uh, 15 knots of wind and we're going about five and a half knots. The boat's running really good, it's stable. I feel really safe on the boat. I probably should have paid more attention during the day while we're sailing because I'm not as confident about how to do things and how to run the lines and furl the sails. Um, so during the day I'm going to put the camera down and learn a little bit more and pay attention and figure out how to do everything. Uh, night passages are hard on me. 
today because I, I get out here and it just uh, seems like they, uh, I've always got to be up. I mean, I, once Anna and Jack and Dave and, and Renee, they get more. I mean, we've gone 12,500 miles, but when we get the next boat, there's going to be a lot more training done so they have the confidence that they don't have to wake me up and they know they won't know more what to do and it's tough on night watches when the weather's bad it's squally the winds are blowing 30 knots and the waves are breaking and they're afraid to do anything because you gotta be careful you don't want to make some mistakes but they did good but it'll be nice when i don't have to when i can lay my head on that pillow and know that everything's going to be taken care of and I'm not complaining, I, I, I don't mind it. You get used to it after a couple of days. You get in sync. So, there we are. Butter we are. It's a nice night. It's just weird because there's land on both sides and there's, there's city lights. It looks like we're going right down in the middle of a city, but we're not. We've got, I don't know, four or five miles on that side and four or five miles on that side. So, but anyway, Keith got to get some sleep, I think. He's laying down at least. And uh, things are going really good. We should be at our destination uh, in the morning. All right, we're pulling into a new country. Dominican Republic, we're here. It's been three oh. three hard days of sailing. Oh, not hard, but it's been three overnight. It's been three long days of sailing. And this is a place we have never seen before. Mountains. Mountains. Did you know, did you know the highest mountain in the Caribbean is here? Yeah, I, yeah, I read that. Well, that was an interesting night. <laughs> I think I got a little bit of sleep, maybe three or four hours, but I'm back on shift. It's 9.30 and Keith went down to get some rest. He was up most of the night. He might've got an hour or two worth of sleep. We are uh, just a couple of hours away from our destination. We've got, uh, well, 13 knots of wind now, but it's right on our nose. So we don't have any sails out. And uh, that's probably best. So Keith can go down there and get some rest. It was a good first night uh, in the cat. Tune in next time as we head to the other side of Greece through the Corinth Canal and continue our Mediterranean adventure.